Are you a creative who's constantly getting ideas for books, movies, plays, TV shows? Ideas seem to come out of nowhere, right? But oddly enough, in spite of your vivid imagination, it's hard for you to visualize achieving your goals. Here's why. If you're like me, you're a writer and or a filmmaker with a fertile, some might say overactive, imagination. You can dream up worlds and characters effortlessly, and any person or thing that you come across in everyday life can serve as inspiration. Just driving to work on an average weekday, you might notice some detail on the street passing by that sparks an idea for a poem, a short story, or maybe even a full-length book or movie. However, for those of us who meditate, when we try to picture the fulfillment of our goals, it's like the screen goes blank, our mind wanders, and we strain to visualize making our dreams a reality. We can visualize success in an abstract way, but actually imagining the day-to-day -day reality of having the things you want, seeing yourself sitting down at your desk every day to write yet another bestseller, well, that seems as far away as another galaxy. Why does this paradox exist? Why do those of us who were born with the gift of imagination sometimes have trouble putting it to use to move ourselves along in life? I recently had an epiphany about this. The reason we have trouble visualizing the fulfillment of our goals in spite of our big imaginations is because there's a difference between fantasizing and visualizing. These are different muscles. Let me explain. Getting ideas for stories is, for the most part, out of our control. When inspiration strikes, it often happens when we least expect it, when we're driving or in the shower or brushing our teeth. It takes little to no effort to fantasize and let your mind wander. However, it takes deliberate effort to visualize something. You don't just close your eyes and magically envision everything you want with all the details popping into your head like inserting cash into an ATM. If you meditate, you know meditation takes work. It's a muscle you have to develop. It takes effort to catch yourself when your mind is wandering during meditation and bring it back to the image or concept that you're attempting to focus on. I recently realized that my wild, untamed imagination is different from the discipline it takes to deliberately visualize the things I want to make happen in life. Here's an analogy. I love to bike ride. I could ride for hours on a beautiful, warm, sunny day, pedaling through different neighborhoods at a leisurely pace and enjoying the scenery. But taking a leisurely bike ride for fun and recreation is a vastly different undertaking than training for the Tour de France, say. If you train for an international cycling championship, you don't just ride around at your own leisure. You have to really focus, stick to a strict training regimen, adopt a special diet, get out there and train when the weather's bad and force yourself to log those miles even when you don't feel like getting out of bed. Training for a competition isn't necessarily fun, unlike a leisurely bike ride on a nice day. When I get ideas for books, movies, plays, and other projects, my mind is an open receptacle, sort of like a basin that catches rain. But visualizing the achievement of a goal is more like digging a well. It takes a lot of hard work. Here's another analogy. Visualizing the achievement of your goals is like training your physical muscles at the gym. What's the difference between a professional bodybuilder who competes in international weightlifting contests and a crew of guys who work for a moving company? Theoretically, the moving guys are lifting heavy things all day long, every day, just like the bodybuilder. The difference is, the bodybuilder is lifting weights in a focused, intentional way. The bodybuilder is counting sets and reps to get specific results, but the moving guys are just picking things up and plopping them down, hopefully without breaking them. The point is, just because you have a vivid imagination doesn't mean that you can just sit down and effortlessly visualize the things you want to make happen in your life. Visualizing is a muscle you have to train through consistent intentional practice. To realize your goals in writing, filmmaking, or whatever creative endeavor you're undertaking. You can't just daydream out loud and hope that your work makes sense to potential audiences. You have to be intentional and deliberate about learning the craft, learning the rules so that you can break them and color outside the lines. Solicit feedback, no matter how painful it may be, and incorporate feedback, the constructive kind, into your writing and your movie making. It takes a lot of work, my friend, 
to make dreaming look effortless. If you like these videos and you would like more content like this, please consider becoming a member on Patreon. Link in the description box. It takes a lot of work, my friend, to make dreaming look effortless.